What's up, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, handsome, powerful, sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, this is going to be just a general, you guys, okay? I've already started pulling from the African Goddess Rising. So, if anything resonates with you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also, comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, I will have my email in the description box below, Scorpio, okay? So, let's go. So, Scorpio, the first card we have here is pleasure, okay? So, you could be seeing the numbers 11 or 11, 11, okay? But with all this purple, Scorpio, it reminds me of like the third eye or the crown chakra, okay? So, with this card, okay, this is an air element, okay? This talks about um, you are thirsty for more pleasure, you can't thrive when your life feels dry, okay? So some of us, Scorpio, you know, we've been on pause, you know what I'm saying? We ain't been sexually active, and because we have not been sexually active, it's like it's really allowed our creative juices to flow. Like, if you've been wondering a question like, damn, how are these things just coming to me all of a sudden? Because you ain't been having sex, Scorpio, okay? And when you kind of shut off that sacral chakra, you allow your other chakras, you know what I'm saying, those senses to be heightened, okay? So I feel like at this time, Scorpio, you know, our life's been a little bit dry, Scorpio, okay? And we're a little thirsty for a little more. I just had to take me a little sip, you know what I'm saying? You, you are made of laughter and stardust, not sawdust, Scorpio, okay? Pleasure is your birthright, a gift from the universe, okay? How much juicy pleasure can you stand, Scorpio, okay? Turn up the pleasure principle. What Janice Jackson say, pleasure principle? Oh, you know what I'm saying? You secretly feel like you don't deserve it. You know, some of us, we don't feel like we deserve to have fun and get out there and have a good time, you know, because we got all these responsibilities and stuff that we got to do, right, okay? But pleasure is a healing and manifesting force, okay? Laughing, loving, and an orgasmic joy is holy. Hold your hands over your re reproductive area and say out loud, I deserve pleasure, Scorpio. Say it again. I deserve pleasure and pleasure feels good, okay? So for some of you, it's like your intuition. Like you intuitive, you know, like, man, I need to get out the house. I need to go do something. I need to have some fun. Just, you know, have a little lighthearted, carefree energy, okay? But then at the same time, we be like, man, I got to go do this and do that. Like we can't even have fun because we already planned ahead for other stuff that we got to do, okay? We got to stop doing this, Scorpio, okay? We just got to live life. We got to learn how to live life. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow I ain't promised to none of us. So while we here, Scorpio, live your life while you can. You know what I'm saying? Then we have the number 12, okay? So you could be seeing 11, 11, 12, 12, or 12, 21. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, 21, 12. This talks about the seven sisters of creativity. Remember I just said it, okay? So this talks about forward movement. Oh, excuse me. We went from the number 11 to 12 here. Okay, this is air energy as well. This talks about um, create, create, create. <laughs> you come from conquerors and creators, Scorpio, okay? Your blood remembers. Use your gifts to multiply your magic, Scorpio, okay? A lot of you guys have spiritual gifts, baby. You ain't tapping in or you're not using those gifts, okay? Using those gifts to create and multiply, Scorpio, your magic. You are a cosmic creator and a creative force, Scorpio, okay? It says you are a divine nation within one person, Scorpio. They're saying just within us, we are a whole nation, okay? How creative do you allow yourself to be, Scorpio, okay? Break out of your comfort zone at this time and into your creative fertility. You have the power that creates planets. Say yes to your creative, your creativity, okay? No one else's opinions matter, Scorpio. No matter what you're doing, don't let nobody tell you. When you over there getting your creativity on and people come around like, what you doing, Scorpio? I wouldn't do that. Man, F them, Scorpio, do what you got to do, okay? Let your creative juices flow because those are your spiritual gifts. Everybody don't even know about spiritual gifts or tap into their spiritual gifts. So don't you dare, Scorpio, let somebody deter you from what you're supposed to be doing, okay? Let your inner child play and awaken to your creativity, Scorpio, okay? Creating is birthing, is manifesting, okay? And then the last card we have here is this brazen energy, okay? When you look at this card, Scorpio, this looks like someone that's enjoying. I see lots, I see fruit up here, okay? So this makes me think of, of wealth and success or enjoying the fruits of your labor here, okay? This looks like water energy here. Maybe traveling, 
going on. The colors green, yellow, and red can be significant here. Okay, so this house is about step up. Go for it. Partner with the divine to make brazen choices and everything meant to diminish will elevate you. All who mean all who mean you harm will fall away, Scorpio. Okay, so people who don't wish the best for you, people, Scorpio, who don't want to see you shine or rise to your best ability, Scorpio, these people are going to fall away from you, Scorpio, okay? They're not going to continue to hold you back, okay? Your hurdles are illusions, Scorpio, okay? The hurdles, those challenges, Scorpio, they're really illusions because sometimes, Scorpio, things that come our way, now sometimes it be big, big shit popping, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, Scorpio, y'all know how we are. We'll, it'll be something small, but we'll take it and blow it up because we'll be like, oh my God, especially the unexpected stuff. Because I ain't gonna lie, Scorpio, I don't like unexpected. So when unexpected come to me, especially not that good unexpected, you know, it may take me a little time, you know, to calm down from that energy, okay? But sometimes we create our own illusions because we make our challenges and, and, and those lessons or whatever that come toward us, we really be making it more harder than what it's supposed to be, okay? It says your hurdles are your illusions because you are plugged into the source, okay? So once you take your eye off of or stop focusing on those challenges and illusions and plug in the source and let God be your light, hey, we good, okay? It says make the brazen decision. What would you dare to do if you knew that you could not fail, okay? So there could be something secretly, Scorpio, that some of you guys are wanting to do. But because you're unsure if you're going to be successful or, you know, if you're if you're not sure if you're going to fail or if you're going to succeed, you know, you may be scared to take that leap of faith at this time, okay? All right, Scorpio, so let's see what's being activated for us at this time, okay? So we have the numbers 11, 12, and 17. Like I said, any of those numbers could be significant for you. You could be born on any of those days, you know what I'm saying? You could be born on 11, 12, 11, 17. Messages from my Scorpio, 12, 17. I know it's just not all Scorpio. You know, fun and listen to me. Any Scorpio places, hey, we all Scorpios, right? All right, messages from my Scorpio, 12, 11 here. What is being activated for my Scorpios at this time, Spirit? Messages from my Scorpios. What is being activated for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio. So we have discernment, okay? Number 20, okay? This supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance, okay? So sometimes, Scorpio, when we ain't balanced with them chakras, ain't aligned on the inside, you know what I'm saying? We can't see things in people for what they really are, okay? That's when we create those illusions and we try to make those bad people, those people that really mean us harm, you know what I'm saying, don't want us to have nothing, okay? We make those people seem like the good guys and the people over here that's cheering for us, they want the best for us, okay? We turn them to the bad guys, okay? It's like we create our own illusions, okay? I just manifested this the other day, Scorpio. I said, please allow me to be able to use this time, and especially if I'm going to be have new people entering my life, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to feel this person's energy and, and know whether they're going to be good or whether I should not waste my time with them, okay? So once you become balanced, Scorpio, you're able to to use discernment, but still be able to detach. You know what I'm saying? So say, for instance, if somebody comes your way, you already see a mile away, like, no, nah, I ain't going to be fucking with them right. But it's like you're able to detach yourself from people that you know no longer serve you versus holding on. You know what I'm saying? We're not balanced. We'll hold on to those people in situations that no longer serve us. But when you balance, baby, you be like, uh-uh, I can go on and detach, and there's nothing to it, okay? So you can be seeing the numbers 20, 20, 20, Scorpio. That 2020 vision, baby. That's how you use discernment when your 2020 vision on point. You know what I'm saying? Messages from my Scorpios. What is being activated for us at this time? Healing, Scorpio, okay? Number 29. This supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly, okay? So what this saying, Scorpio, okay, once you heal, you not only heal on the inside, it's like once you start to heal on the inside, it starts to show on the outside, okay? So it's like your physical appearance, like as you start healing from heartache and pain and breaking generational curses and doing 
things differently growing and evolving, Scorpio, you even start to change. Like, for some of us women, you know what I'm saying? Men, too, it's like your skin. Like, Scorpio, my skin is so clear. I don't think my skin has been this clear in a long time. You know, I got a little pimple right there. You know what I'm saying? My skin still clear. It's like, even when I look at myself, like, I feel differently. Ladies, your hair, men, hair start going. You start taking better care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, when you ain't healed... When you're hurting, when you're in pain, you don't care, you know what I'm saying? That's when they get the Scorpio. Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I used to be the Scorpio walking around with that rag on their head and give a fuck. But it's like, now I'm starting to want to take better care of myself. I care about my appearance. Not because I give a damn what people say, but I want to look good for me. Do you hear me? Okay, so it's like you start to restore your health. You start to eat better, you know what I'm saying? Having better eating habits, you know, making sure you're watching what you're eating, trying to exercise. And this is what makes you more whole, okay? And as you start to become more whole with yourself, baby, all them some, some senses, you know what I'm saying? We got five senses. All them senses start lighting up, you know what I'm saying? The intuition start kicking in. Sometimes you're able to smell. You can smell when it's some bullshit around, you know what I'm saying? It's like your senses starting to heighten. And that's how you're able to use your discernment here okay and it's like you become whole with your senses and everything Scorpio starts to make sense do you hear me all right all right messages for my Scorpios what is being activated for my Scorpios at this time I don't know where this message for Scorpio I got a couple dicks out here so we gonna see I just know I'm supposed to get this out first all right, third eye chakra. I can't make this up, Scorpio. What did I say with this 11 11 here, okay? You also could be seeing 666 or 666, okay? This talks about supporting your intuition, okay? Your inner knowing, okay? Once you align, baby, yo, it, something on the inside be telling you, like, uh uh, Scorpio, don't you do that. Uh uh, Scorpio, don't you talk to them, okay? This also supports your imagination and, baby, yo. Psychic powers, I'm telling you, we be like that's so Scorpio around here. Y'all used to love that's so Raven coming up. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna name my first child Raven. I used to love me some Raven Simone. Okay, but it's like those psychic abilities, they starting to heighten Scorpio, okay? Because you in tune. You're in tune with yourself, okay? And once you become in tune with yourself, baby, I'm telling you that third eye be like gonna be blinking. It be like a little radar going off. Like do 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 uh uh Scorpio, don't go there, go this way. All right, messages from my Scorpio spirit. Tell us more. Messages from my Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, we have passion. Okay, now, this reminds us that beneath every intention, emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm, okay? So beneath every intense emotion, Scorpio, there lies a hidden gem, okay? And for some of us, that hidden gem can be insight, that third eye chakra I was just talking about, okay? Balancing, learning how to balance our thing, home and family, love and career, you know what I'm saying? Learning how to balance things, but also learning how to be calm, you know what I'm saying? It assists us in finding the balance between I can't even talk. Within this intensity, moving us from a chaotic situation, okay, to calm. Because y'all know, Scorpio, y'all, we'll get, we'll go to zero to a thousand real quick. I know I will. It don't take too much. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it takes a little bit more sometimes. It just depends on the situation, though, which I know we'll go to zero to a hundred real quick, right? But it's like when, and, and, and because some of us, I have a lot of fire in my chart, you know what I'm saying? I'm a cuss baby on that, I'm on that Scorpio Sash cuss, and I'm a Aries rise, and I got a lot of fire places, okay? So we got a lot of passion, you know what I'm saying, up in us, Scorpio. And it's like, when we get passionate about some stuff, we go from, you know what I'm saying, when somebody get us wound up, Scorpio, for some of us, take a little while to wound back down, okay? But see, Scorpio, sometimes we got to learn how to control that passion, you know what I'm saying? We got to learn how to go from chaos to how to be able to bring it on down and become that nice, sensible Scorpio, you know what I'm saying? No, we ain't got to let everybody see that crazy side. We say that crazy side, you know what I'm saying? We keep that bitch back there. And we try to, you know what I'm saying, just maintain this calm side, okay? And Scorpio, this is what makes us wiser. This is what's going to help us live longer. You know what I'm saying? Staying in that energy of, you know what I'm saying, duck if you buck all the time, you know what I'm saying? That's not going to get us nowhere. But learning how to, even when we get put in that position, we know how to bring it on down, you know what I'm saying? And, hmm become one in the hole again, okay? Do you hear me, Scorpio? All right, one more card for Scorpio. Then we're going to see where this going, Scorpios. I have no idea. Messages from my Scorpio spirit. Maybe, maybe we need to do all this stuff that's preparing us for some Scorpio. I don't know. Then we have Merkaba, okay? 
This talks about your ability to transverse layers, okay? To be able to time travel, to be able to, to experience different things that's going to allow Scorpio for it to be for your highest purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're able to peel back layers, you know what I'm saying? When you're able to see things from different dimensions, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't able just to see things on the physical plane, you know what I'm saying? You're able to take a step back and be able to see things like on the 5D and the 4D. And I don't know all the Ds, but I know it's several of them, right? Several dimensions here. Okay, so it's like sometimes, Scorpio, you can tap into your acoustic, acoustic, how do you say it, records. And you're able to time travel, right? Like, I did this before, Scorpio. Only, I can't even... I can't explain it to you. All I can tell you is like it made sense to me. It's like when you time travel, you get to see like how you become the person you are now. Like I do a lot of writing, you know what I'm saying? Like as you see the decks that I've done, like I got a hundred notebooks, like I'm constantly writing. And so when I was able to tap into my Akashic records, I realized I used to be a writer. I was a journalist, you know what I'm saying? It made sense. That's why I write the way that I do. So it's like once you tap in, and I can't even explain it to you because it's like, I really don't know. Like, I was listening to someone do it and it was like, I was able to do it like that one time. And I couldn't even tell you, Scorpio, how it happened. You know what I'm saying? But I was able to see some things from my past. And shit was kind of cool, Scorpio. Okay, so let's get into... Okay, let's pull over here because these cards have been looking at me. I don't know where this reading going, Scorpio, but we're going to see. All right, messages from my Scorpio. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today? Matter of fact, no. I'm supposed to say this. I'm supposed to go to these lessons. All right. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today, Spirit? What messages do you have for my Scorpios, Spirit? I love you, Scorpio. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today? All right, Scorpio, we have fear, okay? So I feel like, Scorpio, fear, something is holding you back from living in this energy of love, okay? I feel like in the past, possibly because you didn't use your discernment, you know what I'm saying? We didn't use discernment, Scorpio, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? We're having to heal, but I feel like a lot of us have healed, but it's like we still holding on, you know what I'm saying? It's like we're... We have to get, I feel like a lot of us are about to be tested when it comes to love, basically, because I'm saying tested here, okay? And I feel like it's, it's going to be some type of test. Remember that last reading I did about challenges or, or obstacles coming your way? I feel like fear is keeping a lot of my Scorpios, you know what I'm saying, from, from enjoying love, you know what I'm saying, from enjoying the energy of love. And I feel like it's because of things from your past, but all this purple, Scorpio, your third eye, it's time to have love. It's time to have some joy and pleasure in your life. Look at all this purple, Scorpio. Y'all see that? I ever got purple on my nails I need to take off. Like, it's time, Scorpio, to have some joy, have some pleasure in our life. But I feel like, Scorpio, love is going to come in. But I feel like fear is really holding back a lot of my Scorpios here, yeah, failure. A lot of us, when they came to love, we felt like failures. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't understand that those situations that we were put in, you know, with certain people. So I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, a lot of times, it's like, what I'm starting to understand is like, we're putting certain people's lives for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And certain people are putting our lives for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? The people that's putting our lives really to teach us lessons. But them be the hardest they all going to lessons, Scorpio, of our life. Do you hear me? And I feel like because when it's come to love in the past, and I feel like, you know, relationships, anything, it's like, it hasn't really, we ain't got high success rates, Scorpio, let's keep it real, you know what I'm saying? And because those success rates were not that high, we feel like failures, you know what I'm saying? Like, And, and when you feel like a failure, you, that's going to make you scared, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to make you want to jump out there and take that leap of faith, you know what I'm saying? So... I feel like because we feel like failures, we didn't look at those lessons or look at those people as opportunities to learn and grow. You know what I'm saying? We just looked at that as, oh, I failed. I didn't, this was something else I failed in in life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that fear from that failure is what's been holding us back from real love. You know what I'm saying? Or even experiencing love here. All right, messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more. What messages do you have for my Scorpio? What 
what messages do you have, spirit? Okay, we have self-esteem, yep. And I feel like for a lot of us at one point, you know what I'm saying, our self-esteem was shot, you know what I'm saying, was shot to shit, Scorpio, okay? Because it was like we allow other people to take over us. It was like, because we feel like failures, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just seem like a failure to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we'll do. And I feel like because of that energy, it was like our self-esteem was shot. It was like, but we didn't understand, Scorpio, that really those lessons were really here to benefit us, okay? To make us better, not to hurt us, you know what I'm saying? To cause us harm, because that's what not that's what God doesn't want to hurt us, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, yeah, we have to learn some painful lessons so we don't keep on doing the same damn thing over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Messages from my Scorpio spirit. Okay, I, I think this will be the last bit here. I think I know what I'm going on. Messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more. Forgiveness. And for a lot of us, Scorpio, we've been harboring, you know what I'm saying? Harboring, holding on to the past, you know what I'm saying? From our parents, loved ones, family, friends, anyone, Scorpio, that done crossed our path, anyone, Scorpio, that made us hurt, made us cry, made us sad, made us anything. Those, Scorpio, are people that we want have to forgive, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to forget. It ain't about forgiving because that's why it's a lesson. That's why that person taught you that lesson so you wouldn't forget that shit. So you wouldn't allow other people to come in and do the same thing over and over again but at the same time you have to learn to forgive okay and scorpio forgiveness ain't all about you know what i'm saying For, forgiveness ain't really about the other person scorpio forgiveness really be about for you you know what i'm saying when you forgive someone it allows you to let go of whatever that you're holding on to because as you continue to hold on to those emotions and feelings all you're doing is harboring you know what i'm saying that hatred and that shit start festering and then next thing you know you start resenting people you know what i'm saying and when you start resenting people then you blocking the flow of love it's like you can't get enough you can't receive love from your kids family friends it's like you won't allow no one to get close to you, no one to love you because you don't know how to forgive. You know what I'm saying? This is something I have to learn too. Something I'm still learning to forgive. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm learning too, Scorpio. And it's like, if you don't forgive, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nobody else to block my blessings because I was, you know what I'm saying? So, so attached to the hurt and pain that they caused me. You know what I'm saying? That I couldn't even allow nothing else to come into my life because I just held on to that shit. No, let that shit go, Scorpio, okay? And when you do that, it allows like your sacral chakra, those emotions, those feelings, those things that you've been holding on to. You know what I'm saying? It allows those things to let go and then you start to heal. You know what I'm saying? So forgiveness is very important, Scorpio. It ain't about forgetting. I ain't say forget nothing. Nobody did to you, but you have to let go. You have to forgive, okay? Forgiveness ain't for that person, Scorpio. Forgiveness is for you. Do you hear me? All right, one more card here, Spirit. You don't have me emotional. I ain't trying to be emotional tonight. <laughs> Not tonight, Lord. Messages from my Scorpio. Hell. <laughs> and for some of us, Scorpio, oh, man. <sighs> Scorpio, for some of you guys, because you still been holding on to pain, you know what I'm saying? You still been harboring and, and allowing that to fester up inside of you. Some of you guys, like, it's affecting your health, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like you starting to get headaches and feel physical pain. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's because you holding on to things. You know I'm, I'm going to share a little story with y'all. I'm going to share this story with you, Scorpio. This is about my mom, you know what I'm saying? You know, we all Scorpio done dealt with heartache and pain. And this ain't to, you know what I'm saying, dismiss nobody heartache and pain. You know what I'm saying? Because we've all experienced heartache and pain. But, you know what I'm saying, my mom was a person who allow you know everything every negative experience she had in life you know what i'm saying she held on to that she didn't let go of none of that and it's like as i started to grow and evolve you know what i'm saying i started to see and as i got closer to god i started to see how like how real the devil is you know what i'm saying a lot of times scorpio the devil fuck with your mind do you hear me when you find yourself always in mental conflict and you confused and indecisive and can't make decisions, that's because you're allowing the devil to get to you. And a lot of times, Scorpio, the devil gets to you when you're in that lowest place in your life. You know what I'm saying? When you keep in fear, you, you're not allowing people to come in and love you and, and, and do all that stuff. That's because, you know what I'm saying, the devil holding you back. And, and, and a lot of times, the devil, when he fuck with your mind, baby, he start fucking with your body. 
You know what I'm saying? You, you start being able not to do things that you used to be able to do. You know what I'm saying? All you can do is reminisce about what you used to be able to do, okay? Because you allow the devil to take over your mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, the mind, that's why they say the mind is the most powerful tool we got, baby. Because if you allow somebody to take over your mind, baby, they got you. And a lot of times, y'all see all this crazy shit that happened out here. That's because the devil got a hold of these people's mind. You know what I'm saying? Telling them, ain't nobody going to love them. Ain't nobody. They ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? You'll never be nothing. That's the devil. You know what I'm saying? And once the devil get a hold of your mind, baby, I'm telling you, your, your health is going to be the next thing that follow, okay? And some of you guys, you could be struggling. Or you even seeing people around you that their health is failing. They're struggling because they've allowed the devil to take care, take over their mind. You know what I'm saying? They've allowed those failures that they had, those failed marriages, relationships, whatever, okay? They allowed that fear, those things that was holding them back. They allowed the devil to keep them in their energy and now shit. We losing them. You know what I'm saying? People out here dying because they allow the devil to take over their health. Like, man, health and wealth and all that good stuff go together, Scorpio, okay? And you, you got to take care of your mind, man. I do those reasons about taking care of your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit. All that go together, baby. Them the whole three, the whole tri three trinities. You know what I'm saying? Your mind, your body, and your spirit. And you can't let the devil or nobody come in, baby, and steal your joy or take over your mind. Do you hear me, Scorpio? Okay, I feel like that's it for this reading. I had some more cards, but I ain't even gonna get into that. I feel like that was a, maybe a specific reading I'm supposed to be saying to somebody in specific hell. Maybe even for myself, Scorpio. I don't know. But I feel like intuitively, Scorpio, because I see all I see is all this purple. You know what I'm saying? Intuitively, Scorpio, a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like the devil I had him. He had my mind too. You know what I'm saying? And then I feel like God saved me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But. It's like you just got to get out the energy, Scorpio. You got to heal, man. You got to pray. and You got to ask God to help you forgive. If you having a hard time forgiving, Scorpio, ask God. He'll help you. You know what I'm saying? Even help you just to let go. You know what I'm saying? If you just need to let go before you forgive, whatever. Just don't let anything continue to hold on to you or take over you that you don't allow love or you don't allow people to get close to you. You don't allow none of that, Scorpio, because you're scared. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm finna log off. I ain't got time to get emotional tonight, you guys. I love you, Scorpio. And until next time, baby, stay blessed.